Welcome back to the Dividend Diplomat YouTube channel. You got your boys here, Lanny and Burke, the Dividend Diplomat. Guys, today I'm going to talk to you once again about SCHD. I'm just kidding, community. We're done talking about SCHD right now. Look, here are two individual dividend stocks that I own in my portfolio or my wife's portfolio that we are watching and we may even be buying right now. Smash that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up, guys. Bert's got two stocks that he's looking at right now, guys. Two stocks he owns. Two stocks that you may own. Um, two different industries here as well. Very. This might be a tag along or play on yesterday's Monday video as well. So make sure you guys tune in to our Quick Pick Stock Pick Mondays, which we release every single week for you guys out there in the community. Um, yeah, but both stocks are pretty much flat this year too. So mm -hmm. it's pretty interesting. Yeah, it's it's been hard to find undervalued dividend stocks. I don't think I have to tell that tell that to too many of you, the viewers out there. And what's interesting is we only like to really talk about stocks on this channel that we're consider seriously considering buying ourselves. So sure, while there's a, an entire universe of dividend stocks out there that might have very low PE ratios, the payout ratios may be off, yield might be 10% plus, they're not actual serious contenders for Lanny or I to be buying right now. So we really want to focus on what's interesting us and stocks that we may actually buy and then share with that to you in case that changes your opinion or if you give us a reason why we should or should not be considering them ourselves. Yeah, I mean, and Bert, you know, we own both of these stocks as well in our portfolios. You know, one's really trying to see how they can partner in the AI space, which I was just waiting for that. I think we mm -hmm. talked about that the last time we talked about this company. In the other company, it's funny, you know what one of their competitors has been able to do performance-wise, so Lord knows this company should hopefully follow suit. That's right. Let's kick this first one off with Cisco, ticker symbol CSCO. Those dividends, da -da -da dividend, dividends. I like the way... All right, we're talking. That was my really they... bad take on the thong song right there. So... The way they say, Bert, your dividends look so scandalous. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. My wife owns 58.6 shares of Cisco. So her position is about $2,900. And Cisco, it's been a tough 2024. Lanny, I'm going to make you live fact check this for me because I did it on Google Finance before when we were prepping the video. They're down 1.45% year to date. And they are also down 1.45% over the last 52 weeks. It's yeah, fact check. it was a fact check. All right. It is guys, while you're watching this, this is through March 22nd. Yes, through March 22nd. I don't think this has ever happened where they're both the same at the exact same down percentage. That it takes a lot when you're only a few months into the year. Cisco just has not been able to take off and they've been kind of stuck in neutral, but they have been making some big news. The Splunk acquisition has finally closed. They made the big 28 billion dollar acquisition um, to really rapidly boost up their position in the cybersecurity space. Because, you know, big legacy tech like Cisco has to keep up with the times. And what's unique with the tech sector is the legacy ones don't always catch up on their own. Sometimes it's just easier for them to take their cash, buy somebody else and bolt that onto their to their product offerings. And that is massive, to say the least. I mean, $28 billion. That is a huge acquisition, which might explain why dividend growth for Cisco has been a little bit, you know, tighter um, than usual. Yeah, that's right. And their other big partnering is, you, t you teased it, they're partnering with NVIDIA. No, they're not making the chips themselves. This was an interesting play on it. I'm not going to pretend like I know what this means. Like, I'm not going to pretend like I'm an expert here. But I said, Cisco and NVIDIA purpose-built Ethernet networking-based solutions will be sold through Cisco's vast global channel. So sure, they're partnering with one of the, the largest in the sector. They're trying to take advantage of the AI boom by making it readily accessible through Cisco. So all those corporations, all those massive people that rely on Cisco for everything have easy access to start tapping into the AI boom. That's a great way to play on the sector without doing a heavy investment yourself. Yeah, who better to you know partner up with, right? It's you know can't can't really say anything more there. You know, their stock though has been kind of flattered down, right? As we were saying this year, um, you know, analysts they were expecting here, and they came in yeah, right there. 
Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and similarly with um, their revenue, analysts expecting just a little bit higher than what they actually did. However, with this acquisition of Splunk, hopefully you'll start to see really that accretion back into earnings for Cisco because they wouldn't have done it if it wouldn't, right? So you really should start to see a little bit of earnings growth here now from Cisco, hopefully approaching more so that $4 in EPS versus the analyst estimates of $3.81 right now. That's right. So let's run them through the, through our screener, which focuses on three metrics, PE ratio less than the S&P 500, payout ratio less than 60%, history of increasing dividends, and that bonus metric, the dividend yield. Let's hear it, Lanny. What is Cisco's price to earnings ratio? PE right now is about 13. You know, less than half of what the S&P 500 currently is, which is 28. You know, you look at the PE to see if there's undervaluation comparatively in the market. Um, Obviously, it shows that there is some signs of undervaluation here, um, probably because of the, you know, lagging behind estimates here. But what about the safety and the dividend? So we know yeah. that the P ratio is there, but how about the safety? Net? That's there too. Their annual dividend's a dollar sixty. So that's a payout ratio of forty-two percent. That is right at the bottom end of our perfect payout ratio range of forty to sixty percent. And that's exactly what you want to see. If they're going to come in below earnings by barely ten cents. How is that going to impact the dividend and future dividend growth? It won't. It won't because the dividend is safe from this perspective. The dividend is safe, as Bert says, guys. Again, growing dividends, though, for the third metric, the dividend growth rate. Obviously, you want your dividend income stream to grow. You want your passive income stream to grow without you having to think about it. You know, Seeking Alpha gives their consistency rating a B, gives their history an A minus because they've been doing it for 12 plus years, guys. So the average growth rate right now is 3.4%. So a little bit on the low side. Yep, that's right. And let's look at that dividend yield. Their annual dividend yield is 3.21%. So that's the big knock here on Cisco, right? As you go through all the metrics, dividend yield isn't as high as you'd want it to be for a company that exhibits only 3.4% five-year dividend growth. Yeah, for the last, you know, again, for four years, they've been only increasing it a penny per share Mm -hmm. per year. So from 35 to 36, 36, 37, 38, 39, 39 to 40. So, you know, it's it's taking little baby steps down on the growth rate. The yield needs to be a little higher to make up for it, as Bert just mentioned. So, yeah, so that's Cisco, everybody. That was the first stock on my watch list. Number two, let's head to my top stock pick of the week this week. Medtronic, ticker symbol M, D, T, the dividend aristocrat that has increased this dividend for 46 plus consecutive years finds itself at the top of my dividend stock watch list right now. My wife owns 44 shares of MDT at 3,700. Man, it would be sweet just to bump this thing up to 50 shares, at least get half a century for Medtronic. Um, so what's going on here with it? In their last earnings release, it was interesting. They increased some of the guidance. Um, They increased fiscal year organic guidance revenue growth from, it wasn't 4.75% to a new range of 4.75% to 5% versus estimated growth of 2.79%. So they just jacked up that top line guidance. Earnings, similar story. It was 513 to 519 was the range that was reported. Now it's 519 to 521. So they really shifted up the top. And the bottom line of their their forward earnings and revenue. Right. Yeah, very yeah. nice. It's what you want to see. Yeah, you know, we did just buy a share from my wife's account last week. Mm-hmm. So definitely, uh, you know, I could agree why it's on your list. Um, yeah, really like them at 83 or less right now. Again, trading at $83.08. Um, you know, they beat, they've been beaten on earnings, beaten on revenue. Is it time for this? I don't know, beast to come out of its cage, Brock Lesnar style. Yeah, because let's talk about the competitor that you were teasing a little bit earlier. Cardinal Health, ticker symbol CAH. That stock, just put the chart up. Let the chart speak for itself. Look at how much Cardinal Health stock price has increased over the last year. It's absolutely wild what CAH has been able to do. So the question is, can Medtronic bust out of its shell and have that kind of ascension to the top? Will it find itself in the main event for WrestleMania? That's the big question. 
Yeah, that is the question. But the question here is, is what do the dividend diplomat stock metrics look like on MDT, brother? Yeah, let's do it. Let's run them through that PE ratio. Their current price is 83.08. That earnings per share estimate is 545 from Seeking Alpha. That's a PE ratio of 15.24x. Well below the S&P 500, not the cheapest, not the most expensive, just a very fair priced price to earnings ratio for MDT. Dividend $2.76, 50% payout ratio right down the middle. Couldn't cut it, slice it, dice it any better than myself. Yeah, their five-year dividend growth rate is 6.65%. And I've already mentioned they've increased that dividend for 46 plus consecutive years. Yeah, I mean, taking steps to being a dividend king. So Cisco was at 3.21% on the dividend yield, guys. But MDT says, hey, I got 11 basis points on you at 3.32% for MDT. Well, and they're, this year, they're up 0.29% year to date. They're up 4.65% over the last year. Definitely trailing the S&P 500. And they really haven't done much this year. And they really haven't done much over the last 52 weeks with just a slight increase. Man, so to summarize, 15 PE, 50% payout, 6.65% growth rate, 3.3% yield. We'll put both tickers up here on the chart. Bert, I know you're probably gobbling up a little MDT, but is Cisco now climbing its way up to your stock purchase list here? Yeah, Cisco's definitely climbing up. I'm not running to buy Cisco just yet, but it's getting close, especially if the market climbs. Cisco hangs flat. And I'm looking to deploy capital. Why wouldn't I add at least a few shares of Cisco here and there? Medtronic, though, 44 shares. I don't see a reason why I shouldn't get this up to 50. Um, I love the company. I love the business. And the metrics are still looking great despite the rest of the market taking off. I couldn't agree more. I'm going to keep my eyes on Medtronic since we just picked up a share. Might have to do a little bit more damage here in my wife's portfolio. What do you guys think of Cisco and MDT? Are you buying these two stocks? Do you think that they're undervalued as the market is on fire? Again, up 10% plus this year. What other stocks to buy are out there that are on your watch list? We want to know. So leave the comment below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. And remember, if you're not with us, wait. That's not what we're doing today. To be the man, you have to beat the man. Woo! Ooh, flaring it, guys. That was yeah. Bertha Hart and Lanny from the DD. Over and out.